everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Unterfränkisches Lagerbier. This one is from Brauerei Roppelt, located in town Trossenfurt, and it comes in this NRW bottle as you can see. Uh, and um, it's the second of two breweries in Franconia with the name Brauerei Roppelt, which of course is because of the reason that Roppelt is a quite common family name. In uh, Germany, the other one is from the town Stibar Limbach, and I've been reviewing their Kellerbier. Uh, but now it's time for the Hoppelt Brauerei from the town Trossenfurt. And finally, Unter Franken once again here on the channel. I do also have the Dunkel from this brewery, but of course I did choose the Lager, lager uh, to begin with, since it's a little bit more common beer, so I prefer the Lager instead of a Dunkel. Uh, it comes in this NRW bottle shape, as you can see as I said, and uh, it's one that I'm going to refer to it a lot. I uh, did order it from the Labia Palace webshop, which is a great webshop because they do have from these private small breweries that usually not selling the Trinkemarkts and so on. So uh, it's one that I'm going to refer to a lot, of course. Here you can see the top cap, private uh, sign, and um, it looks real nice. It gives a real nice impression of the private brewery in Trossenfurt. That's always the uh, case or often the case with Bruce in Franconia that they have the name of the family uh, because this family owned private small breweries is family owned for generations to generations so they carry the family name like in this case Brauerei Roppelt located in Trossenfurt. Unter Franken. One closer look of the, of the label, a great looking label. I really like the color combination. It gives an old impression with the brown and the yellow and the white and black uh, color combination of this Brauerei Roppelt in Trussenfurt, their Lagerbier. Here is the back label, of course I'm going to read closer uh, to you from that later on. Um, but let's start with open up the bottle. Finally, time for uh, Brauerei Roppelt in Trussenfurt and their Lagerbier and let's pour it up into the for the rare cell, I would say well-fitting glass, always important to use the right type of glass. I always speak about that just to, the way Germans do. They will learn to me how important it is to keep the right glass for different rare cells. For example, uh, Franconia lager is uh, fitting nice for this bottle shape, I would say. A thick with white two-finger foam crumb, as you can see. I'm going to show it closer to you so you can see this big bubbles that is building up this thick white foam crown and the, I would say dark golden uh, easy to see through color of it which makes this a very very interesting Franconia lager great appearance of it and uh, always important to put up a thick white foam crown and keep it all the way through it helps the right taste be kept in the glass it also releases the right aromas from the hops now, um, let's get the aroma, of course. Which is really, really fresh. Extremely fresh hops aroma. Also well balanced. Yeah, really, really nice. So, uh, fantastic aroma, well balanced. Oberfränkisches or Unterfränkisches Lager, of course. So, Finally, it's time for Brauerei Roppelt in Trossenfurt. Lagerbier, Post. A real, really fresh, really easy to drink. Um, well balanced. This is a beer to live for. It is a big recommendation. It's. Uh, Comparing it to the other brewery with the same name, same name, Robert from Stibar Limbach, this is uh, also very, very high quality. From my friend Jürgen, he said that this brewery is, uh, in his opinion, a little bit better comparing to the Stibar Limbach, Robert Brauerei. Uh, at least that was his opinion. Um, and maybe I should agree because 
It's real, real nice in its taste. The lager beer from Brauerei Robert in Tossenfurt in Unterfranken. Um, yeah, you can see the label for yourself right here. Looks really, really great. Of course, as I said, I look forward to it a lot to try this uh, Brauerei Robert in Tossenfurt. Their lager beer, and as I said, I do also have the Dunkles from this brewery, uh, which is gonna be really nice to try in the future. So some more information from this um, bottle and this label. Brauerei Robelt, Trossenfurt, Lagerbier, Original Steigerwälder, site 1889. Um, so to Franconian standard, it's not that very old. The Braut nach dem Bayerischen von 1516. But of course it's old enough for me, you know, I'm interested in the old brews from Franconia. Brauerei Robelt, Trossenfurt, Lagerbier, Zutaten, Weiches, Brauwasser, Kirsemalz, Hopfen, Brauerei Robelt, 97514, Trossenfurt, telephone number is also right here. Brauerei Robelt, DE, link to the brewer's website, which I'll of course link to in the description box below. A good content, 4.9% volume. That's information here on the bottle of the Brauerei Robelt in Trossenfurt and their Lager beer, which is so great in taste. I mean, we will hope that you're gonna order it and uh, judge for ourselves because it's really great in my opinion. Now, as used to um, to show you some um, information from my books about Franco Numbers, we can start with um, this book right here. As I used to do, which is uh, showing the Brauerei Robert right here, looking really interesting and nice in my opinion. Yeah, here's a small picture also of the, how the brewery is looking like this. Uh, Robert uh, Gasthaus und Brauerei owner is Michael Robert Brauerei Robert DE. Trossenfurt Ober Aurach, uh, founded 1701, family owned since 1889. Okay, that explains a lot. I said before that this brewery wasn't so old when I was reading from the bottle, but it is old. Uh, the bottle did say only when the family Robert. Um, did it take over the brewery? I thought it was saying while the uh, while the old brewery was founded, but apparently I was wrong because this book right here says that the brewery was founded in 1701, and the family uh, Robert did take it over in 1889. Beer Sultan, Dunkles, and Helles Lager Beer. Lager Beer, which of course is the one that I'm reviewing today. They do have one other beer style, which I'm going to review in the picture. Brauerei Gasthaus Robert. Um, and Robert Keller, which is 200 meters away from the guest house. Yeah, that's information from that bubble, uh, from that book. And I do have another book of the Franconian Bruce, which is this book right here. Um, you can also see Brauerei Robert. In Trossenfurt, information is uh, 1701, Michael Roppelt, 2000 hectare plus Würzisches Lagerbier. Brauereichef Michael Roppelt is a sehr umgänglicher uh, Zeitgenosse, der immer mal gerne ein Wort mit den Gästen wechselt. In Kombination mit einem Krug Lager, Pils oder Dunklem ist alleine das schon einen Besuch wert. Schließlich hat er aus 120 Jahren Familientradition in Trossenfurt so manche Geschichte zu erzählen. Der Braumeister übernahm 2000 den Betrieb von seinen Eltern und veranderte äh, von allem den Bierkeller in einen echten Spitzenverterter seiner Art. Nicht verpassen sollten sie eine Brauereiführung, die auf äh, Anfrage jederzeit stattfinden kann. Sounds great, of course. Typical Franconian 
brew with nice hospitality and the brewmaster that likes to stick with his guests and his brew very very nice beers like this one great recommendation of course yeah that's it for now that's the Power Robert Trossenfort Lagerville hope like my reviews and see you again in the next Franconian video